But many of these malware examples you probably have heard about over the uh, on the news. I remember the first one that I saw was the Melissa, and that was nasty. But the one that I was a sucker for, I remember, was being a single man at the time, oh, yeah. the I love you. Wow. When I got an email, um, I remember seeing the email come up with the subject, and it said, I love you. And sure enough, I was like, okay, well, let me take it out. Let me see what's going on here. So I checked it out, and uh, sure enough, um, that was a, uh, a love bug, they called it, or a love letter, that uh, when it attacked, it ended up going and getting tens of millions of Windows machines because what it would do is when somebody clicked on it, it would go into your global address list and then send it out to everybody in your global address list. So if your organization was 5,000, people big, each person that opened it, it would send it out to 5,000 people for that organization, which ended up leading to a distributed denial of service attack, just because the sheer amount of email that Exchange, Microsoft Exchange was just not ready for at that time. So it was overwhelming. But that's really uh, what many of these do, is they have a specific function that they look to take and, um, you know, you, a lot of times you hear of these on the TV uh, or news or you read about them. Zeus, that was one of the, the big ones. I think uh, uh, one of the, the most popular um, derivatives of Zeus was for the Iranian um, centrifuge and the nuclear uh, power plant Stuxnet. That was a form of, of Zeus. Um, so... You know, keep that in mind whenever you're going through and looking at some of these malware examples that these things are legit and um, they definitely can wreak some havoc.